What's happening, people? Welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV. Outside Stamford Bridge with Ahmed, and it's finished Chelsea 6, Middlesbrough 1. The Blues making it to the Carabao Cup final. Pretty much a perfect night at the bridge. Ahmed, uh, pretty much everything went right, went right, as I said. The lineup was good, the players stepped up, they all performed. We got six goals. Um, I don't think there was a single bad thing about tonight. How did you see it? Yeah, absolutely. I think it was a top performance. Um, I haven't seen that many goal. I haven't seen us score that many goals in a in a long, long time. To be honest with you, I think our home form is improving. Um, just like you know, the guys said earlier, um, and I think you know, overall, I think I'm very, very happy with the performance. Um, I think Nisasi did really well, um, and he's got to be given credit. Uh, Enzo got his goal. Uh, he was our creative spark as well. Obviously, Cole Palmer. He's dynamite. You know, he's our best player to me. Um, he's got his brace um, and that would give him huge confidence. I thought Sterling was all right tonight. I mean, obviously, certain games he's not there or, you know, he has patches in form here and there. But he was all right tonight. Um, and I think overall, I think I'm only slightly, you know, a little bit oblivious about the goal that we conceded um, because I did want Petrovic to keep a clean sheet. But overall, I think it was a top night, mate. No, no, I, mean, I absolutely agree. I mean, in terms of the, man the manager, I think, deserves credit for me. He's come under a lot of stick. A lot of people not happy with the job he's doing. A lot of people want him out. But look, in terms of the lineup tonight, I think he got it spot on. He made a big decision in dropping Colin Gallagher. Yeah. He made a big decision in starting Ben Chilwell. I know it shouldn't be like a big decision to start a left back at left back, but given the fact that Chilwell's been out for so long, yeah. only played a few minutes against Fulham, to chuck him straight back in was a bit of a risk, but we had to take it. I mean, yeah. Pr pretty much tonight, Poch got everything spot on. Absolutely. So this this is the type of performance that you get when you play players in their position, you know. And we've been calling, up we've been up Chelsea. the fucking charts. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, so. to a final with me, boy. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we're coming. Up yeah. Fucking Chelsea. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so this is the type of performance that you, you will get um, if you start playing players in their position. I mean, I understand that Chilwell obviously got rushed in and of course um, he played left back. You know, for me not to see him at left wing was a blessing in itself. So I was really happy about that um, because, you know, Poch played him in left wing and it kind of reminded me of Graham Potter when he was, you know, doing his in inverting and rotating players out of position and all this type of stuff. So obviously I was really happy with that and I think yeah, so overall, I think, obviously, a bit gutted that Broya wasn't actually credited that first goal. No, it was an own uh, goal, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, so it was an own goal by, by the Mirrors of the Defender. But I think overall, it was really, it was a really good game. Uh, I think Broya, um, in the first half, he was actually decent. Um, and, yeah, I think overall, with obviously, Palmer was the controlling force with Enzo. I thought, quick mention to Casado as well. He played really well, uh, again because um, I'd done an interview at the Preston game and I said that he did well um, and a lot of people were saying it was okay but I think a lot of people don't see his off the ball work um, and his interceptions and you know his, his ball carrying at times as well so I think he's a really good player um, of course he spent a lot of money on him um, and people expect a lot more I do understand that but at the same time you can't expect signings of that calibre to just tuck straight into it um, you know, we've seen so many flops, huge signings that have flopped um, at other clubs before um, and at our club as well in terms of strikers and whatnot. But yeah, I think overall, um, Casado did really well. Enzo was, like I said, the, you know, the, the controlling um, creative uh, force in our team. Um, and yeah, overall, I think it was, it was a very good night. Yeah, I mean, in terms of kind of um, like, are you, how impressed are you, mate, with how we approach the game in terms of because so many times this season we started games too so we've not moved the ball quick enough like this was a game tonight where we had to start with urgency we start, we were starting 1-0 down we were moving the ball quickly and we were at it from the first minute I mean yes you could say it's championship opposition but in terms of how we approached it our tempo our aggressiveness and all that sort of thing I mean how impressed were you by that because we just haven't seen that enough uh, times this season in terms of qu starting games quickly and it makes a big difference absolutely it makes a huge difference because when we start quick um, and our tempo is very high we start to we start to obviously gel uh, you know a little bit better we start to get you know we start to have attacking patterns um, you know in the game in terms of link up with players in the attacking phase uh, our defense also you know they obviously push high a little bit sometimes and get the ball out uh, quicker to our attackers and it just makes life a whole lot better when we start we start on the front foot where if we obviously Middlesbrough was always going to come tonight and sit deep because they're protecting a 1-0 aggregate score so that's what they were going to do um, and it's our job to break us uh, put, to break them down and we did that so 
I think it's a it's 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 key for us to you know start quickly, um, and I think overall you know obviously that was what kind of catapulted us to to the scoreline that we got. I mean, in terms of like another couple of nice things to see, obviously Chuck Kwameka getting some more minutes in on on his road back to recovery, and also a debut for Leo Castledine as well. I mean, like a good position to be in to be so far up and be able to give these guys minutes. But I mean, another two positive things there as well. Absolutely, um, I think uh, with. Obviously, Carney Chukwameka coming back first. I think that was a huge positive. We really missed him. I think he's he's an excellent midfielder um, and he can score goals as well. I mean, his goal against West Ham, I don't know if you remember, in the Premier League um, where he slapped it. You know, those, those, those are the things that we've missed um, when he was out injured. And I think he has, he has huge potential. And I think, um, you know, given the proper minutes, he's going to be a really good player. So, you know, if that's, that's one for us to, to obviously keep. Um, and I don't think he should be loaned out if any discussions like that are, are going to be had or maybe you know that's a discussion that may be had in the future. I don't think it should be like that. I think he should be kept um, because he's a really important player to us. He brings something different to all of our other attackers if you actually watch him properly. So I think that was really good. Obviously another debut with Casado coming on and that was really good. Um, you know, it was, it was always good to see young players coming through. Um, and obviously with Chelsea, we, you know, notoriously, you know, we, we haven't had that um, over the years in terms of like when we were under Mourinho and whatnot. And, you know, we were always saying that, you know, youth don't come through Chelsea, but clearly there's been a lot of youth that have come through over the years. And that's really, that's a really good positive uh, step for the club. I mean, and in terms of the final itself, man, obviously, you know, it's going to put it's Liverpool or Fulham, it's probably going to be Liverpool. But, I mean, in terms of, like, reaching a final for this group of players, a Pochettino first final under this ownership, how much confidence do you think that can give us, like, going into the rest of the Premier League season as well? We're only four or five points off sixth place. We're not a million miles away. Um, how much of a boost do you think this is for the club right now? Um, this is a huge boost. I mean, like uh, Dan was saying, um, the Carabao Cup is, is should be our number one priority. Um, and... You know, given the performance that we had tonight, it seemed like that it was the number one priority. Um, and I think overall, with regards to the final, um, of course, we all think Liverpool is going to go through against Fulham. Um, you know, hopefully that might that might not happen, and Fulham might get might get signed out the game and actually go through. But the likelihood of that happening is obviously pretty low. But we're all, we're all optimistic, so it is where it is. But if we get Liverpool again, which is the likelihood, I think for the final, I think we're actually a little bit more um, equipped to deal with them I think um, this time around than we did um, last time although last time I think we played we played well in the first half as well because I was at Wembley last time um, and I think we just missed a lot of chances you know Mount missed a chance um, I remember I think it was ZH or something and you know we missed chances in that game so I think um, overall obviously it's going to be a tough game there's no there's no going away about that it's going to be a very very tough game um, they're going to come with a lot of you know attacking uh, in terms of counter press um, trying to you know get out fast and you know obviously um, that's going to put a lot of pressure on our defense but I think overall um, obviously with De Sarsi at right back against uh, Liverpool uh, potentially in the final I don't know how that one's truly going to work out. Um, maybe, I don't know, how, how long is Marlon Gosto out for? Uh, it shouldn't be too long. He should be back for the final, hopefully. But I mean, last thing to round out, maybe. We're back in action again on Friday. Aston Villa in the FA Cup. How do you see that one going? Yeah, I think uh, that's going to be another good game. I, th I think we're in a really good phase of form right now. Um, and I think Aston Villa, obviously, they're a good team. Um, and obviously, they they stepped off the boil a little bit in the Premier League, um, you know, with recent results, etc. But I think they're still a really good team, um, and I think overall we should do a job on them because we're playing at Stamford Bridge. Um, and I think, you know, it could it could be a 50-50 game depending on how you see it in terms of their sort of first eleven, um, what they're going to field out. You know, most times obviously they've got Ollie Watkins and. You know, their, their defence is pretty solid. Martinez is a really good keeper. Um, and I think their left back is pretty good as well. So, yeah, maybe I don't know if Dini is going to start that game. I, I, I'm, we haven't seen him for a while anyway, but I think it's probably going to be that, that, going to be that Moreno guy. So, yeah, I, mean, I think we, sh we should be confident for that game, you know, given our recent form, I think.